Hi everyone, it's Alex again from PhysioFocus Twinton. We're here today to discuss another important muscle involved in running. Today's muscle is the quadriceps, or as it's commonly called, the quads. This sits on the front of your thigh and is the large, big muscle bulk that everyone can see. It attaches in at your hip and works all the way down towards the knee. As the name suggests, it's made up of four muscles. So that's the vastus medialis, which sits on the inside, the vastus lateralis, which is then on the outside, the vastus intermedius, which is in the middle, but this one sits below the final muscle, which is called the rectus femoris, which is the, the biggest of the bulk. These muscles all work together and their main function is to help bend and extend the knee. So let's look at how the quads are involved in running and what their function is and how they help. They play a massive role in terms of extending the knee. So they're the main muscle bulk called on to help extend the knee, which is really important during your drive phase. The rectus femoris also has a role in flexion at the hip as well, which is equally important as allowing you to lift your feet off the ground when you are running. As well as this, they also lift the knee, which allows you to increase your stride length and increase your speed whilst you're running. And finally, it stabilises around the knee with all four parts of the muscle actually attaching towards the patella. And it also works as a shock absorber. The most common problems we see with runners is actually their quads tend to be very strong and then very tight compared to the hamstrings which are on the back of your thigh. Because of this imbalance, it causes adverse leg postures, which if you continue to run like that, leads on to overuse injuries, commonly in the lower back, the hip, the pelvis and in the knee. So if you are a runner and you've got problems with your quads, keep on stretching them. So the first exercise I'm gonna show you today is a strengthening exercise and you can do it anywhere. You've got a wall, so anywhere in your house and you can do it simply while you're at home. You can increase the progression of it quite easily, which is why it makes it a good exercise. It's the wall squat. All you need to do is lean up against a good sturdy wall, bring your legs out far enough so you can bend down, but you're not falling over. You want to keep your shoulders back against the wall, okay, and your hips on the wall. And then all you do is drop your bum down, so you squat down. You can put your arms across your chest if that helps. And then you create a good angle between your, your hips and your knees. The lower you go, the harder it will be to maintain it for a longer period. The higher up you go, the easier it will be. So start higher up, hold it for 10, 15 seconds, and then drop it down when you need. Increase the length of time you stay in it and, it and increase the depth that you actually go to and that will make things harder for you. The next thing I'm going to show you is just a quad stretch. A lot of people already know this, it's very simple but you've got to focus on a couple of things. So if I want to stretch the quad on my right side, all I do is you can lean on the wall if that helps, is you want to bring your heel up, okay, you want to grab at the ankle and then you want to pull your heel towards your bum. Whilst you're doing that, try and maintain a, a, a good straight posture. So keep your chest up nice and straight and keep your hips straight as well. You don't want to be bending forward because you won't feel it as much as you don't want your leg going through here either. The final thing is just how to foam roll. So you get your foam roller and all you do is you place it on the floor and you lie on top of it, okay? So if you start at the knees, you get your knees on it and then you go into almost a plank position and then you roll back towards the top of your legs and then you bring it forward over to the back. If you want to increase that, just bring it separate so you're then only putting the pressure through one leg, okay, and then you go forward and back as well. Whilst you're doing that, you only need to be foam rolling for 30, 40 seconds at the moment on each, on each leg. You don't need to be doing any more of that. Hope you've enjoyed today's little video and found it helpful and interesting. If you have, please like it, please share it with your friends and make sure you're following or liking us on Facebook and Instagram for any more content that we release. Another video will be coming out tomorrow where we'll be discussing the hamstring, uh, its role in running, some functions about it itself and then how to stretch and roll that as well. Um, but all I'll say now is stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow.